Thank you, Las Cancorla. First of all, can I congratulate Minister Burke on his new role? We served together in the European Parliament. Who would ever have thought we'd serve in this Parliament together? Politics is a strange game. But anyway, uh, this is a, an issue that I want to thank Sinn Féin very much for bringing forward this motion, because it highlights the fact that the cancer strategy has not been properly funded for three out of the last five years. And when it comes to survival rates, Minister, Ireland is around mid-table in the EU27, and when it comes to our Western EU member states, we're the third worst mortality rate. Minister, at a, re a recent meeting, Professor Michael Kern, who's the director uh, of the Sailta Network based in Galway, has said that the highest incidence of cancer and the highest mortality rate from cancer is in the West and Northwest. So, Minister, Ireland is performing poorly in relation to many Western European countries in regard to cancer mortality, and the West and the Northwest of Ireland are at the bottom ranking in Ireland. So how do you think that makes people uh, feel in the West and Northwest? How do you think that, ma that makes people who are newly diagnosed with cancer feel? How do you think that that makes people who are in the middle of their cancer treatment, who are finishing their cancer treatment feel when they look at those statistics? Minister, that's just not acceptable and you'll have to agree it's just not right. But I think all we can do is start from today and make every possible effort to properly fund our cancer services and to attract and retain the specialised staff that we need to run those services. Now, I'm going to concentrate on the regional aspect of the cancer strategy because, as I said, there is an absolute need to prioritise investment in cancer services in the West and Northwest. We have the worst outcomes and it is the responsibility of this government to deal with that. The National Development Plan has Galway as the cancer centre of a cancer network encompassing Sligo University Hospital, Letterkenny University Hospital, Castlebar and Portiuncla. Now some progress, to be fair, has been made. A project lead has been appointed this week to support this model of care. But what is crucial, Minister, is that it's properly funded and resourced from day one so that we can have a world-class cancer service in the region. This must include rapid access clinics to diagnose cancer. Many cancers, of course, are picked up by screening or in GP surgeries, but we need specialised diagnostic centre that will be vital to, if you like, ensure precise diagnosis. And that then leads on to more precise care plan delivered by multi disciplinary teams which will comprise of experts from the Cancer Centre in Galway and experts from whatever hospital is closest to where the patient lives. And one of the positive developments in cancer care in the last number of years is that we do have more precise diagnoses and treatments. Cancer surgery is no longer just one surgeon who deals with many different kinds of cancers, but specialists aided by robotic surgery, image-guided surgery, in a specialist centre to deliver the best outcomes. And that will often be delivered in the cancer centre. And then all the related care, what they call the systemic therapies, chemotherapy, hematology, oncology, immunotherapy, oral medication, cancer meds, what they call ambulatory services, will be delivered as close as possible to where a patient lives by a multidisciplinary team. And certain surgeries will be delivered in local hospitals. But Minister, none of those interlinked multidisciplinary teams that deliver the best possible outcomes for patients can be put in place unless a national cancer control programme is properly funded and, as far as I'm concerned, needs to be properly funded in the West 
and Northwest. This summer, the Organisation of European Cancer Institutes is visiting Galway, Sligo and Letterkenny to accredit these hospitals as part of the comprehensive cancer services. But the issue is that in Galway, cancer patients are competing with patients in ED for bed space. That is not acceptable. So, Minister, we have the very best of people, nurses, doctors, delivering a cancer service, but it's not properly funded, and we can't wait any longer in the West and Northwest.